Just recently, about a week or two ago, ActiveCampaign came out with landing pages. Let's take a look at this new feature in ActiveCampaign. Here we go. So this is the sales page for ActiveCampaign's landing pages. Uh, we can see a nice screenshot of what the interface should look like or will look like or does look like for the active campaign page builder and you know i'm looking at this it looks very standard it looks like a lot of other common page builders like thrive themes click funnels etc uh, landing pages made easy you can customize the landing page templates drag and drop designer it also looks a lot like their um their email builder if you're familiar with that and then well build your list and send it and you can get it up and running fast to capture leads, grow your audience, and connect the dots across your web tools. Probably without more web tools is something that they should say on here because if you've been in the digital marketing space for any period of time, you know that there are a ton of web tools out there, your stack as they call it, that you need just to make things happen. So my big interests in this tool are A, is it easy to use and intuitive? Does it work well with Facebook ads? pixels, URLs, that kind of thing. Um, you know, can you put the pixel on the page? Can you have a conversion event, et cetera? Because that's how a lot of us build and grow our list. Could this replace ClickFunnels, which is a known landing page builder out there? And uh, through that, we'll also talk about who this works best for and what could be improved. So on that note, let's jump into my active campaign account. I've already logged into it here. And go to the page builder. Now to find the page builder, you go right here to site and then click on site. We're gonna go to add a new page real quick. And it takes a, it takes a good minute to load here. Maybe not quite a minute, but a solid 30 seconds. And I'm not exactly on slow internet. If we were to go on to fast.com, you'd see I'm probably pulling 100 or 200 megabytes here. I think I pay for 100 megabytes and some days it goes a little bit faster. I should have just went there. So here are all the templates that it loads up and we can take a look at them. Uh, let's just go with the general lead generation layout. Again, it's taking some serious time. We'll just go to fast.com while it's loading. Yeah, I'm pulling Pulling some pretty quick internet speed here. Don't have a slouchy connection, so definitely take some time to load. And you know, it's pretty standard here. We got sections, we got some columns going on in there. Let's go back to it. That's not the best. Let's take a look at a more elaborate page. And this one looks a little bit more elaborate because they've got the use of that diagonal section on that. So let's preview that real quick. All right, I actually went and cut out some of the loading time because that took so long to use or to load so that you guys wouldn't have to sit and bear through it. Um, so we've got a diagonal section right here. Now I notice it says replace this with your form. So what that's telling me is that you create the forms in active campaign in the traditional form section and then embed the code inside of there. Uh, and then we also got an image that's kind of overlaying a section background color. Pretty cool feature. So it looks like it can do most of the design functionalities of a lot of standard landing page builders. Now, one thing I don't notice is any buttons or anything on here. You know, that would be built into the form. And my intuition is telling me at this point that it can't do any pop-ups. So let's just say, get started. Well, get started really doesn't do anything. And then what happens? So it doesn't have a form on it. So it seems like you're supposed to take your form from the actual forms and active campaign. So you've got to create it an active campaign and then go in here and embed the form. So that's kind of crappy. I shouldn't say it's crappy, but it's just not ideal. Let's just use this template here and see what we can come up with. More loading time here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this video to when it loads.
All right, it's loaded. So it's asking me to name the page. We're just gonna call it demo page. First look, boom, okay. Uh, the first thing that stands out to me here is the section, row, and column. All right, if you're familiar with click funnels, which a lot of the digital marketers are, like myself, uh, you know about sections and rows. That's kind of how the click funnels pages go together, right? So section in the section is row. Where does column fit into this? Let's go. It's an image. I don't know what that is. But here, let's just go section. And I'm guessing section does that. And then a row lives within a section. Oh, and I, I'm right, but it just um, it preloads it. When you put a section in, it preloads a row. So now let's just say, let's put some text. That goes into it. Now let's drag a column in, and that looks cool. So we put this in there, okay, so that's cool. So the columns are basically drag and drop. Can we keep adding these? Looks like we can. That's nice, as opposed to some other things where you have to set the columns in it. And how many can I fit in here? Looks like it limits you at six. So you can fit the columns in there pretty easily now. There's no form on this, and that other one said place form here. So what are we looking at? We got a form. Mm, that puts it in. Oh, that's a button. We don't want that. So you can do form. You can put a form. Okay, and then you can keep adding form fields. So that's going to get your first name and email. Looks like you got to format that up to go somewhere. We can put, can we move these around? Which we can. All right, so you can make a form in here. What about for the sections? Oh, this is a hero section. We're going to do a background. Uh, let's just see what happens. OK. You can adjust the spacing. So basically all the standard features of every ma major landing page builder in here, all the adjustability. So it's pretty easy to do things in here. And I think in a few minutes I could figure out how to whip up a page like what we have. So let's kind of keep going on here. And I would say it's definitely easy to use. Does this work well with Facebook ads? In other words, can we get the pixels and customize the URL? Well, let's see what we got. For that, we need to head on over to this form here. And um, there's nothing that you can do to toggle where it goes, right? So we need to be able to get the Facebook pixel on this page and then on a thank you page. So uh, what I looked up, and I actually went through before recording this and kind of went through all of their documentation on it, to get the Facebook pixel on this page is possible, but to get the form going to a thank you page, you have to use an external form that you create in Active Campaign. All right, so you can embed the code and create it elsewhere in Active Campaign. Like if we come in here, I think that's forms. That's oh, conversations. One of the many features I do not use in Active Campaign at the moment. Forms. Right, so you can create a form right here put the code in here and embed it. And then in these forms, they will go onto a thank you page, which you can have on your website. So then you could have that conversion event, um, you know, on that thank you page. Now to get the actual Facebook pixel code on this page, what you need to do is come back in here to pages. Site first. And we're gonna have to wait a minute to load. I'll probably edit it out right now and jump to when it loads, but it loaded real quick. Okay. Um, it's one of these pages. I'm not sure which one it is, but you click on view page settings right here and we should get it to where you can put the head code in there right? and you can edit the meta information. Um, and it looks like you can edit the URL as well. So you can, if you have it set up for your sites to use on a domain or subdomain, you can put that in there as well. So it'd be a custom URL, and then you can put the Facebook pixel code on your landing page. If you use an external form, not an external form, but a form created through the form creator 
in Active Campaign. You can embed that in your landing page and go on from there. So certainly one of the things that could be better here, and I'm gonna put this in for my notes, is the form submission action, right? What we have to do now, as I've been saying, is you have to create it in a form and then embed it, right? Uh, it would be better to create that form in the page builder that takes you to another page for an event. So that works that works together. Now, overall, could this replace ClickFunnels landing page builder? Well, you know, it, it certainly is lacking some of the functionality. And one of the big things I see is a pop-up button. Uh, if you're familiar with ClickFunnels landing page builder, it has pop-ups in it, right? So then you can do pop-ups and, and put your form kind of hidden on the page or have your checkout form on there. The other thing ClickFunnels landing page builder does is it allows you to check out and put actual products on the page. So considering those two features are missing, no, Active Campaign cannot replace ClickFunnels if you're using it for checkout and if you like using the pop-up form. So, uh, you know, I will say that it tends to be that every little email marketing, or not email marketing, but digital marketing tool does one thing very well. An active campaign does the email marketing great. While they've put in the landing page builder, I don't see it replacing your true page builders uh, that have payment integration like landing page, uh, lead pages, Insta page, et cetera. So it's a good overall tool to add to active campaign, but no, this is not you know, uh, replacing ClickFunnels. So genuinely speaking here, I think that when you analyze Active Campaign and if it's a tool for you, don't look at it as a landing page builder, still look at it as an awesome email marketing tool that comes with some landing pages that maybe you'll use, but you'll probably need to use a landing page builder. So that is my Active Campaign first look. Hope that helps you in finding the right tools for your online business.